In this video, you will learn how to install the Terra DC wall box. These instructions will focus on the wall-mounted 240 to 480 volt charging unit. The Terra DC wall box is a fast charger for electric vehicles with a very high electric current. The installation must be done by certified personnel according to local standards. The basic tool set for this installation includes a flathead screwdriver with a 5.5 mm tip, a PH2 Phillips head screwdriver, another Phillips screwdriver depending on the size of the wall screws, a 5 mm hex key, a multimeter with extra test leads and clamps, 1 kV, a lockout tagout set or LOTO, a voltage tester with true RMS voltage capture, and an anti-tamper number 20, number 25, and number 45 torx bit. The extended tool set includes an earth leakage tester to test the residual current device according to local regulations by a certified electrician or engineer. Before we begin, ensure the product's power supply group main switch is set to the off position. Use the lockout tagout procedure to secure the product from accidental power. Perform a voltage check to ensure there is no electrical power in the cables or in the system. Now, let's turn to a step-by-step -step description of the installation process. Before installation, make sure that the wall can support the 115 pounds charging unit. It cannot be mounted to a drywall since it would not support the weight. Because of its weight, two people are required to lift the unit. If a second person is unavailable, you can use a mechanical lift. It is recommended to use wall anchors here. Drill and tap four holes and insert the plug to fix the holes in the wall at the positions indicated. We recommend wall anchors to support the weight. Align the mounting bracket with the four holes on the wall plate and position screws. Tighten the four screws. Next, insert the conduit into the cable entrance at the bottom of the charging unit and tighten using some pliers. Lock the conduit in place and tighten using a screwdriver. Now, let's install the main DC charging unit. First, line up the three screws on each side of the unit to the slots on the mounting bracket. Two people are required for this task. If a second person is unavailable, use a mechanical lift. Press firmly down on the unit to make sure the screws have locked into place. Make sure the charging unit is flush with the mounting bracket. Install two M5 bolts on the lower side of the unit. This will keep the unit locked in place. Next, connect the two fan cables and tuck them into the back of the unit. This version of the DC wall box has an AC input board provided with contact blocks for main connection that are designed to be connected with a three-phase and neutral power grid. On the other hand, the North American version has a different AC input board designed to be connected with a phase-to-phase -phase power grid, otherwise known as a single phase. Once the fan cables are out of the way, you can install the three electrical cables through the conduit. You can feed these cables through a hole in the back of the unit, one at a time. Then, feed them through a hole on the left-hand side to the bottom of the unit. Next, terminate the wires. Ensure that the ground wire is secure and solid prior to power-up and operation. Double-check that the wires pulled through the hole are still connected correctly at the source. Once the above steps are complete, an ABB team member will begin the commissioning procedure to complete the installation, which includes a power-up and voltage check, as well as the installation of the lower frontal cover, the outer white cover, and the charger holster. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit abb.com or consult our installation manual for the Terra DC wall box.